Hello, my name is Tom Robbins. Uh, my record is O and O. What's the rest of it? Debut date. Oh yeah, shit. Cause I'm tryna play this shit and I'm gonna make some hate all day just be Hi, my name's Tom and I like making movies, it's just what I enjoy doing And these are my friends They're a little bit weird But one of the more weird things about my life is my passion for boxing I'm a privately educated posh boy from the back arse of nowhere And on the 2nd of March, with a gym full of awesome lads Strapped on a pair of gloves and I threw hands and one of the biggest milestones of my life, my amateur boxing debut. This is how it all went down. Alright, pussy face. <laughs> Hello there. I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> okay, so... So, beginning in... Begin whenever you're ready. What the... You don't look at the... You never look at the camera. No, you look, Tom, you look up look here. just above it. No. How are you feeling about your fight? Why are you just doing that? It's such a weird... Uh, you're like, so Tom, how are you feeling? That's, that's how I speak. Okay, <laughs> fuck it. I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm feeling pretty healthy. My legs hurt a little bit, but that'll be fine. By fight night, i just got to get my cardio going, and then I'm good. I don't know anything about him at all. I assume he's probably... What's his name again? <clears throat> James. I think he's something Newton. But I can't actually remember his first name. I know he's coming in at 74 kg and he's 0 0 just like me. What are you? Wait. Right now, uh, 75, 76, and you're allowed to be. Wait, you're 76? Yeah, so you're allowed to be three, uh, 2 or 3 pounds above <laughs> and below. Now. You're massive. You're, um, pretty heavy. you're a swole boy. How heavy are you? 64. You're 64? Yeah. You're losing all that weight, haven't you, with your running? So like, yeah. Okay, um, so what training are you doing? Uh, right now I'm doing uh, a lot of sparring. I've got I've got a great group of guys in my um, <laughs> in my gym, so I'm always getting tested. Uh, but yeah, mainly sparring, and I'm trying to do a lot of bag work to build on my power because I've got I've got speed. I'm just building on hitting hard enough. So you're getting tested? Are you getting STI tested? <laughs> no, I don't get STI tested. Thank you. I don't have any STD. I don't, I, I, I don't have any STDs. What did your yeah. mum think of the fight? My parents... Um, my mum's weirdly aggressive with it, so I'll tell her about it, and then she'll start going on this big rant about visualisation and that she knows I'll, be, I'll do well. My dad's a lot more quiet as always, but he he's confident in my ability to put in the work. Okay, when, well, how many um, days a week do you train? Uh, well, I only train once a week now. I want you to try and go like twice a week, but you do get really tired. But I go once a week training, once a week sparring, and then I work out. Uh, so still. twice a week? Yeah, well, yeah, but it's, it's always specifically sparring on a Sunday. So, Tom, what's your walkout song going to be? My walkout song is going to be Chelsea Dagger, because it starts quite quickly, and everyone... What's Chelsea Dagger? Dun, 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 um, I think it's going to be me walking, from, I start walking just before the chorus comes in, hits the chorus right when you see me, but it's more, it's serious. Then when I get into the ring, I'll give them a little bit of a, you know, hands up, hit the chest, something like that. But it'll be more, it'll be more or less serious. But I'm banking on the fact that I've been visualising getting to the, getting to the club, sitting down, getting my shit on, getting my hands wrapped. 
and walking in, I've been visualising walking in so much, so I reckon my nerves up till that point will be fucking like awful. And the moment I sit down and they start wrapping my hands, it's going to go away. I'm banking on that because that's why I've been there before. I've been there before in my head. And what's like, what's like the perfect scenario for the guy? Like, what do you want him to be like? Be like? I can't even fuck what he's like to be honest. Um, but I'm banking on him not being, I think, yeah, I'd rather he wasn't taller, but I'd rather he wasn't short. I'd rather he's just my height. And I want him to be slow. If he was slow, that'd be good. Uh, okay, I've got a question. Yeah. Um, so, have your not friends, boxing mates? What have they said? Have they given you any advice or anything? Or? Uh, no one's given me any specific advice. One guy, I was sparring him, and he said, "Just keep your hands on me because one shot can take you out." And I'm not particularly worried about getting knocked out. I'm worried about dropping my hands and just giving them, giving him stupid points that he didn't, doesn't deserve. But uh, yeah, he was nice about it. He helped. He gave me some tips about cardio. Other than that, it's just been just positive, really. Just people saying, like, you're good, man. Just get in there, show them what you can do, because you're good. What do you think the uh, results of the fight are going to be? <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> such a retarded question. No, that's a answer. good question, because it's like your prediction, isn't it? Well, right. Yeah, I'll I know. Prediction. I mean, like, All right, I'll tell you, you got to ask Obviously, it. you're going to say you're going to win. Eight times, out, eight times out of ten, it'll go the distance, and I'll have won. This is, this is the thing, okay, so if this guy comes in anywhere slightly equal to the amount of time I've been boxing for, I'm going to knock him out. And that's the truth. If Tom, so what would you say to all of these fans? Um, keep, uh, keep your hopes high, because uh, I'll give you a show. Just got back from sparring. Let's go a couple rounds. Uh, spar two, three people. I had a warm up one with one guy. He was good. He went easy on me though. Uh, then I had three killer rounds with this other guy. Oh, he's a he's a beast. That really tested me to be fair. So, Thomas, where do you live? Uh, I live in Clovelly. And uh, what do you think of living in Clovelly? Uh, it's got its challenges, obviously. If you don't know, it's like down this huge hill, loads of random fishermen houses. It's quite secluded, but obviously, it's got an absolutely lovely view, and it's 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 nicer living here than it was where I was before. And it doesn't matter how hard the walk is or how difficult it is to get shopping in. It's just it's really nice. And do you have to walk up to the bus stop every morning and walk down? Yeah, you have to get up about half six and then uh, walk up to the top of the hill but we get a nice little route down the back because we've got friends who have a easier path but yeah nah it's difficult but it's worth it what school do you go to uh, i go to chevier college which is a private school posh school it's, it's a private school it's a bit posh but um yeah i get taken the piss out by the boxing lot for that i'm the only kid who goes to private school there drop the uh drop the dogs off Got rid of them. Pretty cat. How are you doing? More feeding. Feed you in a second. Yeah. Making beans. <laughs> where are the beans. Where are the beans at? Do you even know? You don't have to constantly throw them though. You can just like get the good bits. So Tom. Yeah man. Protein and beans. There is protein in beans. Where are the beans? Beans! <laughs> yeah, all right, we found a second tin of beans. Oh, you're getting these beans, by the way. What's happened to them? It's dented, so it's like- Oh, it's because I dropped it's them. gone off. This is my diet. My cowboy. Just live off the beans. Your sparring's going. Sparring's going good. Training's going good. Gassed out right at the end of my spar with a Watch his face today. and uh, that was alright. Did a couple dance moves. So, I made it a joke rather than a failure. Worry about gassing out in your fight? Uh, not worried. Got a few weeks out still now, and the problem is just pressure. Put pressure on me, and and that's like it. <laughs> so it all depends on what the guy's like coming in, and given that he's he's O and O. So he's quite fresh. 
but I imagine he isn't going to be right up in my face. And even if he is, he won't be as good as the guy I spied the day. Why not? So, he's 0 -0. I just spied the national champion. Oh. I spied the national champion. What weight are you in? What weight am I now? Hmm. I didn't weigh myself today, I should have done. But uh, I think I'm about... 75 kg? Do you think the extra kg will give you an advantage? Uh, it's, one, it's one kilogram. I don't think it will make too much of a difference. But I definitely want to. I'm hoping that I come in bigger than him, or at least same size, the same height. Because then I can really. Cause my, my playground is the mid, mid range. Doodaloo, doodaloo. <laughs> What are we doing right now? Go on, say, say what we're doing. Going down the hill, deliver the parcel. Deliver this parcel from IKEA with the doggy. Logan, Logan. <laughs> How do you think the fight's gonna go? We're gonna die. We're gonna die? Yeah. Let's get that. <laughs> see, see you just stepped on the dog. See what you've done. <laughs> give Sorry, the, Dad. Give me the dog's <laughs> 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 Oh, There you go. We're just going. <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're going. Ooh. Yeah, um, we're a couple of weeks out now. I just I'd just to... like to say at this point, I don't like being... I just wanted to get your opinions on the fight. Mother, <laughs> you can go first. <laughs> what do you think about the fight? Please keep it brief. Can I just hang, stop a minute? So I feel like I'm going to an injection. I okay, I'll go. No. Alright, Nanny, what do you I'm, think about I'm, the fight? I'm really looking forward to it. Right. Sarcasm. <laughs> There's no sarcasm. I've was... been training quite hard. Uh, and uh, to be honest, it's just got to get over with now. Okay, thank you very much. Mother? Dun, dun, dun. Sometimes I think, think it's amazing, and other times I, I wish it, it, was, it was all just a Sometimes bad I nightmare think, oh, Jesus. that wasn't ever going to happen. But um, I'm proud of Thomas because he's doing what he wants to do and he's not following the trend, and I am looking forward to it actually. Well, how do you think the fight's going to go? That's the one. What do you think is going to happen? Based on your limited uh, understanding of boxing, I think Thomas will you will win, but I don't think it's going to be as easy as you might think it's going to be. Okay, what do you think? Of? And I know for a fact that he'll win because I know that inside of him he's got an insane fighting spirit, and I know I, I completely know he'll win. But I agree with Martin that I don't think he. You think he's, he don't think he realizes how hard it's going to be, you'll have to dig quite deep. Cool, thank you very much. Chill. Actually, I think I said this already. But I'll say it anyway, just in case. There's a huge hill over here that gets you out of the valley. So um, I'm gonna run up it. Feeling so alone. Don't even know me. I've been in my flow. I've been four by three. I don't need you now. I never did. Now she always texting me like, why we ever did, yeah. Why we ever did, yeah. Like we ever did, yeah But you winning me, I don't need you I'm in tune back through like a see-through Trying to think of you like a freak boo But I'm always trying to think of you with every thought of mine But 
thought you thought you were thought you thought you were the one never never held a gun but I thought I should one day was from school looking very cool in my zone I've been on my phone always texting back and forth but I'm in the zone always texting back and forth but I'm on my own feeling so alone don't even know me I've been in my flow I've been four by three I don't need you now I never did now she always texting me like why we ever did now I've been in my sit now why you on my bitch now I've been flowing shit now crazy on my bitch she be on my shit I've been in my vibe now she uh, I was as hard as it is every time uh, from school? I just gotta keep doing it until it gets easier school. I guess in my zone, I've been on my phone, always texting back and forth, but I'm You realise I'm filming this, yeah. you fucking crazy. Hey, hey. 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 I know you more than anybody else What you tryna prove? What you tryna do? I don't need you This is our hat trick Alright And Eddie <laughs> So what do you guys think of the fight then? Well, I think, you know, Tom's fighting at around 75 kilograms Which is sort of his normal body weight So I think as long as the guys no, no taller than him. He's gonna get an absolute arse with him. You know, he's got a very heavy punch on him. I think the guy will last for him, to be honest. What do you think, Eddie? I think Tom's very naive in how he thinks the fight's gonna go. Why would you say that? Because they're gonna pick you a fair fight, not an easy one. And you know that based on any prior knowledge? Well, because the other person, the other team would have agreed to it, wouldn't they? So. You guys. I think it all depends on how well Tom can take that first punch. So you guys, you guys coming to the fight on the night? Oh, definitely I'll be there. I think I, I think I've just got something planned. You know, I don't, I don't know, but from from this thing planned. Yeah, we've got a party. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, you know that. We that, better that not friends. lose. You better not lose. So you're gonna get absolutely roasted. Right? Can't win, can he? Thomas Robbins can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> what will you guys? What will you guys actually do if I do lose? What will your like? What will the first thing you say to me when I come out will be? Do you fair to, to start off with, I reckon we'll be pissed off with the guy that want to jump in the ring with you, but, um, you know, I reckon... I think we'll just, like, make up some shit about how it doesn't really matter. I reckon it'll be all about trying to keep your, your motivation towards the sport. Well, so yeah, we'll, pro we'll probably be like, oh, yeah, it's all right, it was a good fight, when, even if you're shit. <laughs> we're not going to be straight up. All right, next the question. What will you say to me when I come out if I win? We're gonna be in that ring, mate. Yeah. You're not even gonna come out before you see us. We're gonna be I'll in challenge you. I'll we're challenge you for like the title. The biggest in the world. Oh, we will. Are we worth it? I'm fine. We're not. We're fine. We're not the biggest first, first ever. First top. Fight. First win. Oh, well, if you've won, I'll be like, yeah, Tom barely won against that like that puny kid that was pretty unfair fight. And if he lost, I'll be like. You hear Tom got fucked by that puny kid, and it yeah, Tom should have won. Do you? Do you? Either way, you're a bit fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Tom seeing it absolutely roasted. Do you think I'm? Unless, um, unless you hit the guy with an absolute whopper. Yeah. Game. Unless you knock him out and he's like on the floor, then yeah, you get you're gonna get put down. It's good. All I need is family. All I need is my friends and my family. If I got those, I don't need no chains on my bows on my wrist. I don't know this game. No label, don't need that. I can make music with no feedback. I understand you like the fucking rest. That I don't need you. Need you. Every time, every time, every time, yeah, think about her.
Never her Think about her Shadi I think about her Not saying names 24 24A Bang on the door 24A Think about this life So, that's, uh, that's it now It's the last training session of the camp Just did uh, some mitts All my friends are there, I hope everyone enjoys it I put in the work, I'm happy with what I've got This is it now This is what I've been working for This is what I've been training for This is the fun bit we're gonna have fucking fun, I can tell you that right now, let's go. It's fight day! It's fight day, let's go. Try on the kit. Yeah, so we're just heading off now. Everybody's getting to the car. I'm heading into Butte just to hang out with my friends for a bit before I have to go. Still, still putting the label on. The day before, for the day of the fight. For the four o'clock weigh-ins, and weigh me in, and then five o'clock start for the for the juniors, and then half eight start for the main card, and there's two fights before me after half eight, and then I'm on. Yeah, I only just got the uh, only just got the name done <laughs> like ten minutes ago, but you know, classic. Classic Robins. As my friends will tell you, we are always late. As we currently are right now. As we're supposed to meet them at two, it is now something like half past two, and we haven't left yet. But it's all right. I'm excited, I'm just excited, that's all it is. So yeah, see you all in a minute. Let's go. Oh, my life is Be here, flow this beat You know me, lost gonna be 
Okay, during the fight, will you guys? Do you think you'll be nervous for me, or do you think you'll just be chill? Oh, honestly, I think I'll be chill. as it's about to start, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. oh shit, that's one of those stones I put. Like, like I'm in there fighting. Like, oh shit, this is like it's gonna. It's oh, it's gonna be so tense. Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty nervous. Yeah. Eddie, are you gonna are you gonna stick with this stoic facade, or are you gonna? I'm gonna be embarrassed that your mum is um, screaming. Yeah. Hands are low. I know.
is SB Garden Services. Oh, yeah. Can someone come round and, and present the award? Imagine like that momentary bit of like adrenaline and fear and rush. Times that by a thousand and then make it the whole fucking thing. The whole time. It's so weird being in that pot. It's crazy. Did you think you were gonna lose when you, when you got the first punch? I'll tell you the truth. I like literally wasn't thinking about anything except for just don't throw up. <laughs> literally, this is the hundred percent truth. Like you thought I'd have been because I was here. I could hear everybody, and I was thinking there's all these people. But the last thing I was thinking I was, oh. I hope I don't lose, or I hope I don't get knocked down. Like, I should have been thinking, oh, don't get knocked down, don't get knocked down. But I was just thinking, don't throw up. Like, don't be sick right now, because you'll never live it down. That's yeah, the one thing that I did. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's all I was thinking about. And then the next thing, obviously, that I do think about was then, like, when he hit me and I hit him. Which is, like, you're just, like, you're in, like, a different... Like, it's like you're an animal or something. Man. Yeah. Like, I've never hit anybody that hard in my life. It was crazy. Like, I hit... I would hit him, and I'd feel it, like, all up my arm and into my shoulder. It'd be like I hit... It'd, it'd be like I... I hit and it would turn to like stone. Yeah. And I'd be like, how the fuck is he still up? And then I'd get hit and I'd go blank, like black. And I'd be back again. I'd be like, how am I still up? And then you just keep on. Like, it was like that, like over and over again for like, oh, what felt like ages, but then in your memory feels really quick. Do you know what I mean? Like it felt like I was in there for like a day, but then I look back at it and it feels like 30 seconds. We were chatting a lot of shit in the first Oh episode. yeah, that, yeah. Well, basically, I just, like, looking back, I've been watching the, f the, the footage a lot and looking back at my first few interviews, like, I was just chatting shit. Like not, <laughs> I was sitting there going like, you know, if he, if he's the same as me, I'm gonna knock him out. If he's shorter and all this, and then in fairness, I wasn't wrong necessarily. Just that, like, it's never like that. Like it's, a fight is just so different. And in and all, and again, in fairness, if I hadn't have been thinking that, like if I hadn't have been confident in myself like that, I would have just lost. Yeah. Like if I hadn't come into it, even though everything I was sort of thinking wasn't technically true. If I hadn't come in and thought that, I'd have just lost. The nerves would have gotten to me, and I'd have, and I'd have shat myself in the day. But I was confident, and I went in, and I was completely humbled, and like everything got changed. And I think that was that was one of my favorite bits about the experience was like learning about something. Like I learned, I think I learned more about myself in that nine was it nine minutes than I have like in my entire life, which is like I learned a lot about myself right there. That's a statement. And I remember, I remember because Conor McGregor always used to say. Um, you know, I visualise, you know, the whole day and I get nervous at the, during the day and maybe like, but then the moment I get there to the venue and I start wrapping my hands, I'm fine. So I was really like hoping that because I'd visualised it all, that was going to happen, but it didn't. Yeah. So, I, so I got there and I was like, and I got more nervous as the day went on. Oh, okay. And I was in the club and I was getting nervous, I was getting nervous, I was getting nervous, I was getting worse and worse and worse. And then I started wrapping my hands and it just didn't go away and I was like, oh, bugger. Like, yeah. And then, but then... 
what was really, really sick was my song came on and whew, it was all gone. I think that's because I kind of thought, I was always, when I was visualising, visualising walking out with the song on and the song came on and it was like bang. It wasn't like I wasn't nervous, but I was in like a different mode. I was like in, I was like in kill mode. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was really weird as well. <laughs> Do it, go ahead with that. This is, this is my point, that you, like, I learnt so much. It was crazy how much. It was like nothing I've ever done ever before. It was like, cause you were there for so long, you were there from like four o'clock, we had to get in, do the weigh in, and the weigh in was awkward, you had to like get your clothes off, and your opponent was walking past you, and I didn't really know who my opponent was yet, so I was yeah. looking at everybody, everybody was kind of uncomfortable, but trying to be hard, and it was, it was a crazy weird place, and it was, you step on the scales, and the lady was really kind, but then you weirded out because you're about to go and punch somebody in the face, and then you come out, and then you, and you're there from four, I was there from four o'clock to about half past eight. Yeah. Just and it was longer than that because I didn't fight half. I said I fought four late, and so I was there for so long. But yeah, and there's never been anything similar. Like, what would you say is the most similar thing to that experience? Like, honestly, I can't think of anything. Like, if I had to, like, literally, maybe, possibly, like, if you're in rugby or something, and someone's running at you, and you get a momentary ooh, fear, 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 bang, it hits you, and you feel it, and then you hit the floor or something, that maybe. But like, it's like that for the whole fight, and the bit before it is weird. The bit before it's as if you're gonna go, you know, when you go on stage in like a, in a play or something, and it's nervous. Yeah. But like, imagine that. But if it was like, you were gonna fight someone. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's weird. It was like the it was like the feeling of everyone's gonna be there and watching you. Yeah. But then you add on to the fact that you were actually gonna. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's that. But leading up to it, like, I shouldn't have been thinking about this. But leading up to it, I was just thinking like, you know, if I get KO'd. I'm fucked. But that's all I was thinking, just don't get knocked out. Just like, and that's why like at the end, there was like this really, you can't really see it in the film, but I had this weird, I'll never, I don't think I'll ever have it again, like moment of clarification where I just, I didn't get, like the moment the bell rung, I didn't care anymore. Yeah. I was like, I was so happy. And I thought I'd lost it because my coach, I sat down and my coach said to me, oh, you're, um, I think you lost that first round or something. And I was like, okay, so I said, get the next one. So I got the next one. He didn't, and then when I sat down again, he didn't really say a lot. It was kind of like vague. So I was worried that maybe he thought I lost that one as well. And the third one, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it was all right, but I don't know if I had enough to win it. Yeah. So when I came away and the bell rung, in my head I was thinking, oh, I probably, you know, that could go either way. So I, but I just did not care. I was so happy and I was so re relieved and, and all sorts of different emotions. And I was so proud of myself for doing it and getting through it that I, I didn't care about. and then there's a bit, you can see this, when um, when they're reading out the score, he said, um, uh, by majority decision, majority means like, it's like, it's not, yeah, 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 it's close, but it's not awfully close. And when I heard that, I was like, ah, oh, bugger, and I did have this little, this little look at my face, when I went, I thought, ah, oh, so he's got it then. And they called up my name, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck's sake. It was hands down, like, the most crazy, weird, amazing, fun, life-changing thing I've ever done, literally. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to everybody who supported me in the build-up, who supported me at the fight. Thank you to my coaches and my uh, and my teammates because, like you guys, honestly, nothing nothing could have ever ever prepared me for what it's actually like to fight. But everything you guys did was just more than I could have asked for. So thank you, thank you guys. Uh, and then thank you to my parents for giving birth to me. One. To, for for allowing me to do this, I know it's absolutely, I know it was absolutely awful for you guys. I know you. Oh, I know, Bob. I know you had a really shit time, so I'm sorry, Dad. I know you wouldn't say it. I know you did have a brilliant time either. But thank you so much for letting me explore this part of myself, and because I honestly, it is changed like the way I view things. It's brilliant. So thank you so much for doing that. I have a very special thank you to give out to, and that's actually to my brother Will, because. I'm gonna give all the credit to my cameraman, Casper, but he actually did more of the camera work than he did. And he's been, a, he's, a, he's been in every single one of the projects I've ever done. He's been in all my movies. He's always stood by me, he's always helped. Uh, he didn't make too much of a splash in this documentary. He was there occasionally, but he's, he's behind the camera every single time and he's with me every single time and he was, he was absolutely, so yeah, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to him specifically. Ben, I always gotta say thank you to Casper, who has uh, co-produced this with me, he's done a really good job. So thank you, Casper. He's just there. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to Eddie and Patrick for coming in and doing their bit. Eddie helped out with the first interview, so that was really good. Yeah, just thank you to everybody. This has been it's been really really fun. It's been really really fun making the documentary. Like I never made a documentary before, and it's actually like it's actually I think turned out quite well. <laughs> I don't know, you saw me and watch it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all, see you all with the next one. Thank you very much. Changing up. Doing this shit all day cause I'm here and I'm tryna play Doing this shit cause I'm tryna play This shit and I'm gonna make some hay all day Bitches be on me, bitches be on me baby But I'm still here tryna look at her She looking very crazy <laughs> Like Alright, so sick, yeah, yeah. You got the fuck off. Wait. Went from. Oh, fuck. Oh, you, like, you're talking and you're like. Like, as soon as you had the camera. Yeah. No, I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't. And then the next thing, obviously, that I do think about was then, like, when you hit me and I hit it. Which is like, you're just like, you're in like a different. It's like, 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 like Yeah. I'm a little bit like, um. When you look at a girlfriend. I wouldn't say, from my experience, that fighting somebody is similar to having a really passionate sex or something. Yeah, but I guess you both um, got a lot of passion. I think so, yeah, but it's similar to that. Oh, fuck it. Sometimes, and I'm gonna hit one time, one time, and I'm gonna flow with this shit one time.